Well, we heard a huge uh, range of explosions uh, not too far away from the UN compound. Um, heard a few things flying overhead. Um, but then when we filmed from the, uh, one of the check posts here, you could probably hear the crunch in the background. Uh, it seems from what the commander has been telling the United Nations uh, that their rebel-held base on this side of a small bridge, um, they are destroying their own ammunition. Um, and quite dramatic it is as well. This is obviously shells, explosives. Um, you can hear them quite a distance away. You can see huge plumes of smoke uh, just uh, down the road from here. And we've seen a number of people coming up the road to try and get into the UN compound for safety. Um, we don't know as yet how far the army are away from here, whether, um, whether they're close. Uh, we expect them to come down the road where we are, so we'd expect to see them. Uh, but as I say, the commander is saying that they're destroying their own ammunition. So presumably they could then retreat over a bridge. They can't carry the ammunition, so they must go over the bridge. And presumably that's where they'll then take up positions to fight the government troops when they come in. So the people, by getting out of town, uh, clearly expect something to happen. And obviously the rebel forces expect something to happen as well because they're destroying their ammunition. And Alistair, I want you to focus again on the concerns about the civilian population. Some have managed to flee. Some have been coming to the UN compound. What have you been hearing from them? Well, we saw thousands of people heading out of the town, uh, out into the area to the south. Um, obviously, when the fighting does come, if it comes today or in the coming days, then that's going to put those people in a lot of pressure. They will have to be out, presumably just in the bush. Uh, they won't have very much with them. All they have is all they could carry, uh, which didn't seem to be a great deal. A mattress and cooking gear and maybe a, um, a bag of food, and, and that's about it. Um, so if this battle is big, if it goes on for a long time, then it's going to be even more of uh, pressure on the United Nations, on aid agencies here, to try and help those people. Uh, presumably there'll be areas they'll gather where, again, we'll see need for people uh, to give, be given assistance for clean water and food. Here on this base there is a, a fair bit of room. Uh, people have been here for a couple of weeks, some of them now. Um, the conditions here are stable. They've got clean water. They've got food supplies for now. Um, but obviously the fighting intensifies if, uh, if it goes on for a longer period and more people, of course, are affected, then it is going to be a challenge to the uh, UN and aid agencies to try and ensure these people are kept safe.